It's a one of a kind restaurant, tavern, and butcher shop about an hour north of Boston, and it's certainly a hidden jewel. A mountain of nachos smothered in pulled pork and chili, a burger topped with bacon and fried chicken, and an enormous s'more sundae with a graham cracker brownie. When it comes to over the top eats, no one does it like the Tuckaway. Located in Raymond, New Hampshire, the Tuckaway Tavern and Butchery isn't just a restaurant. It's more like a destination for food lovers from all over. It's a great concept. It doesn't exist anywhere in New England. We recreate ourselves every single day here. In addition to the casual 200-seat restaurant, the Tuckaway is also home to a country store with antiques and craft beers and an enormous butcher shop offering more meat than you can imagine, from burgers to steaks to 24 styles of sausage. We have specialty items, locally produced items. We want that special feel. We want a specialty shop that you can't necessarily get everywhere else. If you like meat, the Tuckaway Tavern is definitely the place to eat, especially when it comes to burgers, because executive chef Bobby Marcotte says you can't get any fresher. Our burgers are definitely special because we are literally grinding them almost hourly here, right in our butcher shop. Well, I think if you have our burger, you're gonna find out it's the best burger you've ever eaten in your life, hands down. In fact, when owner Paul Simbolaris tried one for the first time, he couldn't believe how good it was. I ate my first burger two years ago, standing in the middle of the kitchen. I stood there and said, I didn't know that burger tasted like this. It just melted in my mouth and the flavor was so great. I'm like, wow, what is this? There are more than a dozen specialty burgers to choose from, all served on freshly branded buns, like the steak and cheese burger draped with melted American and cheddar, or the Don Cowleone topped with fresh basil and a thick slab of fried mozzarella. But for a truly luxurious burger experience, order the real Burger King, a perfect blend of ground ribeye and tenderloin finished with caramelized onions and horseradish sauce. We wanted to showcase a real king of burgers, and that's where I got the name. Being a steakhouse and a butcher shop, we felt we had to have that steakhouse feel in our burger, and I think we really did that. If you're hungry for a taste of the steakhouse, the hen house, and the pig pen, there's nothing like the whole Tuckin' Farm burger. We got the cow, we got the chicken, and we got the pig on there. We got our 10-ounce burger, and then we top it with a big piece of fried chicken, a couple slices of bacon, melted cheddar cheese, and then finish it with our tuck sauce, which is our house sauce. So literally the whole Tuckin' Farm. <laughs> Because of the butcher shop next door, you know the steaks here are serious business, and so are the steak tips. Inside the butcher shop, you can buy them in six different styles, and at the restaurant, they're a top seller. Steak tips are absolutely the best I've ever eaten in my life. Everybody that eats them will say that. They melt in your mouth, the flavor is great. It's a unique recipe that we have, and it's just the best you can get. Lobster lovers certainly aren't forgotten at the tuck away, because here you can choose a classic cold lobster roll with mayo, or a warm one with melted butter. And here's the best part on Monday and Tuesday nights, they're buy one, get one free. Lobster rolls two for one, Monday and Tuesday night. Line out the door, eight ounces in each one. They line up and they come. We're never gonna take it off, ever. When it comes to the craziest and most creative food at the Tuckaway, appetizers and desserts are where it's at. There are rooster balls, which are deep fried spheres of shredded buffalo chicken, cream cheese and vegetables, and something called nacho normal nachos, which substitute hearty pita chips for the typical tortillas. And I put pulled pork, chili, cheddar, cheese, chipotle sauce, and scallions. So people recognize nachos and they say, oh, I want to try the nachos, but they're not expecting to get such a hearty, full, plate of nachos. As for desserts, sinful selections include the almost better than sex cake topped with Cool Whip and Heath Bar and the golden on the outside, gooey on the inside, blue balls. You can't leave here without blue balls. We take blueberry cheesecake batter, fry it, and put it over some blueberry compote with blueberry ice cream. It's just a nice blend of hot and cold and sweet. And while the blue balls are best experienced alone, the enormous s'more sundae is a dessert you'll certainly want to share. We do a graham cracker brownie, chocolate ice cream, melted chocolate, toast some marshmallows, and uh, finish it off with whipped cream. From your last bite all the way back to your first, a meal at the Tuckaway Tavern and Butchery is 
always full of fun and flavors like you've never tasted before. There's always something going through my mind as a chef. You know, I'm always thinking about the next thing that's gonna get a wow factor. And as a chef, to have a butcher shop and a restaurant together, it's just a dream come true, really. It's the infusion of fresh steaks right next door and fresh ingredients to bring into here. It's just a perfect fusion.